Hi, I'm going to show you a little demo of how to interface Meteor and Qt. Meteor is a web-based framework based on Node.js. Uh, it uses, therefore, JavaScript on the server side. It's a full framework. It's a reactive framework. So it's a very nice and simple and easy way how to use um, basically all your web technologies to create a nice little website or a little packaged uh, Cordova application. At the same time, there is a, a number of things that you cannot do with the web, and that's where native applications come to the story. Qt is a cross-platform application framework, uh, which is uh, native, so you can use any, any library that is available on the, the native platform and a lot of the APIs as well. Uh, it works both on desktop. Uh, here I have um, a simple Windows application, which is mirroring the same data structures I as I have on the the website and of course i have android as well here so we actually have desktop web and uh, mobile in one picture and this is the cool thing there is no compromise in terms of what the uh, web application can do or what the uh, what the api supported on a particular platform so all these applications are able to use the full um, feature set available on those platforms. So if you are writing on Android, you can use all the Android APIs. This is just one way of showing how you can leverage Meteor as a backend for all of these. Uh, this is made possible by Meteor using DDP, the Distributed Data Protocol, uh, which is basically a, a data sent, JSON data sent through uh, WebSockets and then interpret it on the client side. So we are not sending HTML files, uh, which are rendered by a browser or web app, but rather the data itself. And then that is uh, rendered by the application with whatever technology is available on the client side. In this case, uh, I'm using QML and Qt. So what does this mean? In practical terms, whenever I uh, simply tick a box here that will automatically propagate to all the other clients which are linked to the same server. Let's try this. And the key here is that this is not done through some polling mechanism. So the native and mobile clients are not asking the server all the time, hey, what's going on? Uh, it is a fully reactive uh, system that will immediately relay all the events and changes in the database that the client is subscribed to. And it also leverages all the, leverages all the good sides of the Meteor uh, platform, basically, <clears throat> which means that the data is cached, so there is no no uh, wait for the, the events to propagate in terms of something happening on the client side. So this works just as well in reverse. So if I tick here um, one of these boxes, that will immediately propagate to all the other clients that are, are there. And I can do the same as well. I can create a new list here. And that has now appeared on all the clients as well. I can remove it. I can do whatever I want. Uh, I can add also new items here. Let's say I will now add a new principle that is interfacing with native applications. And there we go. This simplifies the development process quite a bit. So your backend can be common for all the clients regardless of they are if they are web mobile or desktop and you can also um, indulge in creating more creative uh, user interfaces which are more suited for the the particular platform or the device itself so whether it's a tablet or whether it's a, a phone or whether it's um, something else or variable a watch or something then it is also very easy to do and there is nothing you need to change on your server side which is what makes this very very appealing and all of this is actually done in javascript so even in my native applications for scripting the ui i have used qml which is a, a json style language and i can show it here so as you can see that will just render the components with this simple syntax. So it makes things just so much easier. Thanks for watching.